I did not know how far the applications of CO2 lasers will go other than the fact that I had a burn on my back of my hand, but the doctor should have told me something at that time, but I, I was uh, too dumb to understand where, where all the applications were. Coming to this meeting made me realize that there are lots of things happening which I'm totally ignorant of. For example, I learned the word phrenectomy. I never heard it before. An invention is only as good as its application. And the application that we hear today probably makes me most proud because it affects young people, a group of people who cannot articulate what's wrong with them. And I think that's really touching. I think at this point in my mind, laser is the, is the standard of care. For phrenectomies, laser will be the standard of care. I can't say enough about it. It has really set the basis and the foundation for my practice. I feel like I'm doing the best possible surgery I can on these, these newborns and children. Initially we started using scissors for division, moved on to a diode laser, and over the last couple of years we've been using a CO2 laser. Um, and given the choice, I would always pick the CO2 laser. There's very minimal post-operative pain or swelling, predictive results. Um, and when patients see this, they see the wound healing behind it. And they comment that it was, you know, very easy procedure to get through. So much quicker. I could tell it wasn't hurting as much too. It's just a different, um, the babies are not crying as loudly. And then the biggest thing too is afterward, we noticed uh, with the diode, we were getting nursing strikes. The baby would not want to eat. Um, at least once or twice a week, we'd have parents calling us at night saying, hey, what, what do I do? My baby's inconsolable. As soon as we switched the CO2, we have not had that happen since. So it definitely seems to be um, less painful for the babies. 